Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So just a quick video to give you a heads up that if you are having issues sending and receiving your email using Outlook.com, which is the online version of Outlook, then you are not alone. And because this is actually something I did post on late last year in November of 2022, where Microsoft did announce changes to Outlook.com and OneDrive cloud storage for this year, 2023. Now, just to do a quick recap um, on that video, which I'll leave a link to in the description as it will give you a lot more info. Microsoft had said, and I'm quoting, starting February the 1st, 2023, cloud storage used across Microsoft 365 apps and services will include Outlook.com attachments, data, and OneDrive data. So that may be the reason why you are unable to send and receive emails is because your storage is actually full um, because of these recent changes that Microsoft has announced. Now, um, Microsoft customers, as many of you may know, and users who are signed up for a free Microsoft account only get five gigabytes of storage space. So if we head over to OneDrive, yeah, you'll see uh, in my storage plan, if I can just increase this so you can see that a bit better in the video, yeah, you can see my storage plan. I'm a free account user for Microsoft OneDrive and we only get five gigabytes of storage space unless you go through a couple of other options um, where you can, uh, for instance, get 15 gigabytes where you do certain promotions and so on. But that's just another video for another day. But by default, you get five gigabytes of storage. Now, as I did post uh, previously, what is happening with this rollout is that... Um, the five gigabytes of Microsoft storage quota for OneDrive now also includes your Outlook.com email attachments. So previously, this was not the case where it those attachments would be part of your 15 gigabytes of email storage. So if we head back to Outlook.com and we head to the settings general page and we click on storage, as many of you may know, this is your Microsoft storage, as I've just said. So that's um, your five gigabytes of free storage. Now, if you are using Outlook.com, um, you get 15 gigabytes of storage. Now, what's happened here is it's changed. So all your attachments are now being included in the five gigabytes of storage. So that could be a good reason why you are unable to send and receive emails is because your mailbox is full. You have run out of storage as I did post on. Now, this is on a controlled rollout. Uh, this new change as of the 1st of February this year, 2023. So you may have, may be affected as yet and may not be affected, but I'm just letting you know because there are a lot of um, reports and forums now where obviously users are starting to complain where the, effect, the affected people and users are saying that they are unable to send and receive the emails as basically their five gigabytes of OneDrive, um, their OneDrive quota is full. Now, um, if you basically click on a learn more link. So if we just head over to OneDrive, you'll see there is a little link at the top of each page. Um, there were recent changes that might impact how much storage you have available. If you click on learn more, it'll take you over to this page where, um, as I mentioned, starting the 1st of February, these changes are rolling out using a controlled phased rollout. Now, Microsoft carries on to say, just to get, keep you up to speed, this update may reduce how much cloud storage you have available to use with your OneDrive. So as mentioned, that could be uh, the reason why your email has been disrupted and you're unable to send and receive. So if you reach your cloud storage quota, your ability to send and receive emails in Outlook.com will be disrupted as mentioned. Now, uh, Microsoft carries on to say, to ensure uh, we offer the best experience. The cloud storage changes and new quota bar will gradually roll out, as mentioned, on or after 1st of February 2023. So that's using a controlled phased rollout across your app settings, Windows settings, and Microsoft account. If you do not see the new storage experience in your settings or Microsoft, be my, um, your Microsoft account, obviously, um, be sure to check back in the coming weeks. So that's the gist of what's happening here. And uh, um, if you are experiencing the issue where your storage has run out and you will see it'll you'll see a nice orange line an indicator telling you that you've run out of storage if you do see that and you are affected i have posted a whole video um a couple of months ago on how to manage and limit your outlook.com storage from filling up onedrive and i'll leave a link to that down below as it does give you a brief 
um, a, quite a, a, a in-depth and brief overview of how to basically free up storage and limit your Outlook.com storage from filling up your OneDrive account. So you can go check that out if you are affected. But nonetheless, just wanted to give you a heads up that if you are unable to send and receive, that could be a good reason why, as your attachments now are using your actual Microsoft storage and not the 15 gigabytes like it previously was allocated. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.